Outdoor Travel Channel with Robin Sherry, featuring RV travel, outdoor cooking, boating, and amazing road trips. Thanks for watching and let's begin. Don't forget to subscribe. Previously in part six, Return to Washington, we moved the RV to Fidalgo RV Resort. Then take our friends to Shrimp Shack to try some fresh whole shrimp and take a little drive over Deception Pass Bridge. What a spectacle. Well, good morning everyone. This is Tuesday at Fidalgo RV Resort. And today is a cool day because we're going on the ferry, a Washington State Ferry. And we're going from Woodby Island to Port Townsend. And our mission, we're gonna pick up a truck and Paul's boat saved us money. But uh, we're taking our friends with us too. So anyway, kind of excited, mm -hmm. <laughs> trying to get organized this morning. They're trying to get their stuff. Of course, they can't find their keys. And they're, they're like us, we're not morning people. But anyway, uh, we're all getting ready to leave here. You can kind of see uh, Todd and Lane and Cinder doing her thing. Anyway, we have about an hour drive to get to the terminal. I'll show you a little bit. We're going to be driving on Woodby Island, get to the terminal, we'll show you some pictures there, so stay tuned. Off we went for a one hour drive on Woodby Island to get to the Washington State Ferry that crosses over to Port Townsend. So right here you see where people are lining up and it's always interesting to go over to the shoreline and start watching the boat come in. And uh, if you watch carefully, a little bit of a time, uh, change in time lapse here you'll see the ferry starting to come into the terminal anyway so about the time it lands uh, it only takes them a short time to unload and before you know it you're on the you're on the ferry okay guys we're on a Washington State Ferry we're on our way to uh, Port Townsend uh, it's gonna be windy so sorry about that let me block the wind a little bit anyway you can see the water behind us oh God. Anyway, <laughs> what you see is we're going across the Sound, which goes to Port Townsend. Anyway, this is one of the smaller ferries because uh, this is not, not as populated area. But they have super ferries that can hold up to 180 to 200 cars. This one, I believe, only holds about 80. Anyway, uh, you can see quite exciting. It is windy. You're going to hear a wind noise. Sorry. Anyway, it's pretty. guys so we are uh, at Squim Bay 
and so I'm going to show you two parts of it. Uh, this is kind of the beach side of it. We're going to take Cinder down to the water, and it's a beautiful, beautiful park. It's one of our favorite areas. The sun's in the wrong spot, but you can kind of see it over there. It might be a little glare. You know, I'll take you down to the water. I'm just taking the GoPro down because we want to play with Cinder. Anyway, uh, enjoy. Is that John Wayne Marina at Squim Bay, Washington? John Wayne Marina in Squim is one of the nicest marinas Sherry and I have ever been to. It has wonderful beaches, which does allow people to do clamming when there's no red tides. And it's just really clean. If you go to the other side of the marina, you will see the beautiful Squim Bay. And if you walk out to the point, you'll be able to see the bay, the beautiful waters, and the marina right off to the right. Once again, this is one of our favorite marinas and we've kept boats here for years and did a lot of crabbing, salmon fishing, and halibut fishing here. It's just a place you need to stop. Stay tuned for our next episode, Part 8, Returning to Washington, where we visit the Olympic Game Farm and we go to pick up our rental truck from Paul's Bow and take it across the ferry back to our RV. Hey, thanks for watching Part 7 of our Return to Washington. Stay tuned for Part 8, where we get to go to the Olympic Game Farm and pick up our rental truck to bring our stuff home. To Arizona. Please subscribe and watch some of our previous videos. Thanks.